Right, the Ahmed Banks, this is our new band sprayer that has been developed by Micron and with the help of ASCOMs who are our Trimble dealership, uh, we've got it wired up so we are spraying on the row sugar beet as well as a herbicide in between the rows. This is the actual application point. We've got these guarded nozzles in these hoods which are all variable width using these friction grips here. So we can turn and make the application in between the rows as wide or as narrow as we like. At the moment they're set at 20 centimetres and then these are the on the row nozzles which are at the moment set at 50 centimetres. So at present we're doing approximately 60% of the area we would have done with the selective herbicide and then 40% of the area is being done by a glyphosate or diquat type chemical. Each nozzle has got its own land wheel on parallel linkage so that it goes up and down vertically, it doesn't kick back. Each hooded nozzle has got its own um, blockage sensor which is linked into the Trimble FMX screen so that we can tell if it's blocked because obviously being hooded you can't see it. Um, it's 12 rows, it's for, well, it's for a 12 row beat drill, but it's actually got 13 hooded nozzles for obviously the, interlock, uh, the overlapping row. The parallel linkage here means the hood rises vertically. Obviously spraying a desiccant, you don't want that wafting around, and the hood should be set at approximately two, two to four centimeters off the ground with these rubbers here, so if it does brush the ground, it doesn't matter. Without the parallel uh, linkage, it could simply kick back and then allow the um, chemical to drift. As it is now, it simply can't do that. We've got split tanks at the front here. One is a thousand litre and one is 800 litres. Um, they then, at the moment we're in the yellow tank, we've got the desiccant, the diquat or, or glyphosate, depending on which field we're doing. And on the front we've got the selective mix. So at the moment for this sugar beet crop, we've got twin and goltix flurbal. Uh, and, a, and an adjuvant of crop oil. Then at the front you've got two induction hoppers with uh, rinsing facilities as well as hand wash facilities as well as a rinse tank for the overall uh, sprayer. Uh, obviously it's a concern that the inter-row desiccant, be it Roundup or be it Diquat, will, uh, could potentially kill the crop. But with the accuracy of RTK um, GPS from RTK Farming Limited, we I have absolute confidence in this and with the hooded nozzles there is simply no drift. It is all contained underneath that hood. Um, the accuracy of two centimetres on the GPS using the same lines that we drilled the crop with to spray with as the machines are the same width gives us absolute confidence. We've even done trials with dyes and, and fluorescent dyes to check the, the spray patterns and the company that built their sprayer, Micron, has even done wind tunnel tests. So we're hoping to only use 60% of our uh, selective herbicides that we normally do. So that would be a reduction of 40%. Um, that obviously can change depending on how wide we can make that into a row. So if we can spray more off with a desiccant, obviously it reduces the cost even more. Well, so far with this machine, we started off by doing a three hectare trial. That was two weeks ago. We've already seen the results of that, uh, which are very encouraging. No damage to the beet crop, complete kill in between the rows. Uh, we're now on a 90 acre field of which we're probably halfway through so we're aiming to be able to do 100 acres in a day so we should finish this field quite nicely today.